Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to have the most fun at prom. My first prom was four years ago and I say first prom because I did go to prom both my junior and senior year of high school. My school didn't officially have a junior and senior prom like some other schools do. Our prom was just open to all juniors and seniors in one big event. Anyways, having attended prom twice, I think I can consider myself a prom expert. I hope you find these tips helpful and let's get right into the video. My first tip is that if you can take a limousine or a party bus, definitely do it. There's ambient lighting, usually free drinks on ice like water bottles or juices. You can hook up your phone to the stereo system and play your prom playlist and dance with all your friends. Or if you're in a limo, which is a little bit more space constrained than a party bus, you can wiggle back and forth with your friends and sing along to the music instead. Nowadays, there are a ton of ride sharing services and people utilizing carpooling. So of course, there are alternate ways to get to prom. But as far as getting the full prom experience, nothing compares to a limo or a party bus. And when you think about it, you're only going to go to prom once or maybe twice like I did, so you might as well get the full experience out of it. If you don't want to book a limo or a party bus yourself because of the cost up front, it's very common for people to pay for their seat on a limo or party bus and then just go with another group of people. My junior year, my family ended up paying for the limo up front and then we charged for seats on the limo. So some of the people that ended up coming in the limo with me were friends of mine and some of them were complete strangers from my high school that ended up being friends with us by the end of the night and we all had a great time. So if you're worried about buying a seat on a limo and not knowing who you're going with, I wouldn't worry because everyone's very friendly and looking to have fun on prom night and you might actually make new friends out of it. My second tip is to take a ton of pictures and videos. You may only end up wearing your prom outfit once in your entire life depending on if you're renting it or buying it and prom clothes are not cheap so just for the sake of cost it's worth it taking pictures. But also prom is a big deal. You'll probably look back at your prom pictures the rest of your life and when you have a family member a few years down the line like my little brother that's attending his first prom soon which is actually the reason I'm making this video right now you'll want pictures and videos to look back on. I personally have a lot of pictures pre-prom with my group all dressed up in our outfits but I have barely any pictures from the inside of either prom venue and the only video I have is from my first prom junior year when the limo is actually leaving to the venue and my dad took a quick video while we were leaving. So that's honestly a big regret of mine that I don't have more to show for my experience either years. And that's something that you definitely want to make sure that you do is you take a ton of videos on the dance floor, pictures with friends of yours, acquaintances, anything goofy, photo booths, you want to take advantage of those experiences. Also, just a small tidbit of advice on the topic of pictures. Also take individual pictures of yourself because you don't know what your relationship with your date or your group of friends might be one or two or five years down the line. And in the case that you don't have the best relationship with someone in your group pictures, it's nice to have individual pictures too. My date for both proms happens to be my ex. And unfortunately, I don't have any individual pictures of myself from my first prom. Luckily for my second prom, I do. So it's just better to be safe than sorry and snap a couple by yourself. My third tip is to go to a restaurant before prom. The food that they serve at prom are mostly hors d'oeuvres and snacks to keep you from feeling peckish. They're little desserts like cupcakes and brownie bites and chips and soda. So you can imagine after a long day of dancing and running around in dress shoes or heels, you're gonna need energy. Preferably pick a restaurant within 10 or 15 minutes of your prom venue because then at least you'll be close to the venue if your ride gets caught in traffic. And additionally, make sure you make a reservation for the restaurant probably a month in advance, especially the closer you get to the prom venue, the harder it will be to find seating on the day of prom because you won't be the only group looking for somewhere to eat. So if you want to guarantee that your group will get seating and be able to eat before prom, make sure you make the reservation. My junior year, my group ate at a beautiful family-owned Italian restaurant probably an hour and a half before prom. Our limo driver dropped us off and waited in the parking lot. We walked right in because we had a reservation, but we got out of there just in time to make it to prom. My senior year, I went with a group of my date's friends and they did not decide to do the restaurant route. And needless to say, I was starving by the time I got back home around midnight. So I do know from experience both the eating and not eating route that the restaurant is definitely the best way. My fourth tip is to bring band-aids and or a pair of comfortable shoes. Heels are not the most comfortable, especially after being on your feet for several hours, so bring band-aids to put on the back of your ankles so that you don't have blisters ruining your night. And it also doesn't hurt to bring a backup pair of sneakers or flip-flops that can fit in your bag. 
Most of the time, prom dresses are long enough that you can't really see most of your shoes anyway. And especially when you're dancing, no one's looking at your feet. Most of the time, the venues are dark. So it's more important to be practical and have fun than have your date carry around your heels for the whole night or walk barefoot or end up sitting at your table the whole time because your feet are too sore. My fifth tip is to take advantage of the prom activities. There are photo booths, game tables like table tennis and air hockey, sometimes a live band, snack tables like I mentioned earlier, and it doesn't hurt to go through the photo booth more than once, try out all the props, squeeze in different friends. There is an abundance of things to do at prom, so make sure that you make those hours count and do everything you can. My sixth tip is do not be afraid to split off from the group that you came to prom with. If you're somebody who really likes to dance and a few of your friends that you came with are wallflowers, just plan to meet up with them later and go dance. Or vice versa, if they want to go listen to the band and you'd rather go play games, just go for it. So many people go to prom that more than likely you'll know more than just your core group of friends. And even if you don't, just introduce yourself to people. As long as you have a plan to meet back up with your friends at the end of the night, because that can get a little bit hectic, you're fine. My seventh and final tip is just like you went to a restaurant before prom, sometimes it's a good idea to go to a restaurant after prom. Usually this doesn't have to be something as fancy as the initial restaurant that you went to. For me personally, we went to Denny's after my first prom, and usually it's just whatever is a comfort food in your hometown. Most of the time it can be something as simple as rolling through a drive through somewhere or going to Jack in the Box and sitting on the inside. So it doesn't have to be fancy, but you will be hungry after prom as well. So consider that into your schedule. And that is going to wrap up my video. Thank you for watching. More than anything, have fun and be safe. As I mentioned before, you're only going to have a prom once or twice, so make it count and take lots of pictures and videos. That is my main takeaway. Please consider subscribing, and if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and write them below. I am primarily a college and lifestyle content creator, so if you're attending prom, you're likely heading the college way very soon, so check out my channel to learn all about that, and thanks for watching!